Hey, what's going on family? It's Lachlan here, and I am here to share some stuff with you guys with the new stuff that has been put in the snapshot. Now, this hopefully this is going to stay uh, in the duration of to 1.4, and I'm pretty sure it's going to because it's pretty prominent stuff. But I want to just share with you guys some of the stuff that I've came up with. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already came up with this, but hey, whatever I'm gonna show you guys because obviously someone else isn't showing you so I'm gonna show you this and see what you guys think and what you can make of these so like for instance we're gonna come over here that's my house over there just show you some different techniques with the new walls now I like the new walls and I'll show you why I like the new walls so like for instance you want to do like you could do let's remove this actually and we're gonna place down that okay and then we're gonna put in I'm going to remove that and we're gonna put in this here too. We're gonna go up to there, just like that. Now the third one, we're gonna make it this, just like that. And then we're gonna come across like this, right there. See that? Now what's cool about this is now it gives you the ability to you can put in glass panes here, just like that. And I just think that looks so cool. So it gives you a new aesthetic for like your window and stuff like that. So it's pretty neat. Okay, so now what I want to show you is you can also do it like this. You can remove these completely and you could, instead of using panes, you could use bars. So you could have a jail, jail cell, like that. It's just cool the way it works. And so when you put it all together, so for instance, let's do this. Let's go here, let's bring that across, bring that across, and then we'll add in actually want to bring it over one more and one more and then there down like that like that so it's just the way that it gives you the ability to build things which is really cool so like if we'll go inside and I'll show you what what else you can do all right so that's those are some of the things there's other things like this you could also do this let's say we want to come out like this like that and then we want to just build down like some pillars right there and there so you have pillars and then we can just take this so you can lay this in here just like that so now you have these pillars I mean you could use wood or whatever but now it gives you the ability for stone pillars which I think is kind of cool and they're not that thick so if you come inside you can see what I've done inside you see that there's pillars right here in the middle of the room and I've got the kind of stone rafters up there and you can see the windows and just the outcry it looks really good I really like the way it is so that is the new walls the new walls come in cobblestone and mossy cobblestone so I could just imagine the new runes that we're going to see castles and stuff like that it's pretty cool alright so the next thing I want to show you guys is this I want to show you guys the item frames and the different things that I've figured out to come up with with item frames so let's go ahead and grab this this and this there and one more this okay so here's what we're going to do one of the good things about item frames is display you can show somebody how to do something without showing them how to do it now that sounds weird but okay so like for instance we want to show them how to create a repeater so we're gonna go like this there and there just like that so it show it's a great way to show somebody how to Show them a crafting recipe. So for instance, if you're doing a mod review and the mod review uh, calls for crafting, you can display the crafting recipes for the viewers and show it to them just like this and they'll be able to see it and it's just as good as building the item. So I think it's a really, really cool way of doing it. Now here's something really cool. Let me show you guys this. Now there's a way to do this and you have to kind of like a uh, sequence. So we're gonna take a torch and we can do, we'll do a bunch of these. So we'll take this, we'll take this, this. You can use any of these. There's certain ones that look really cool, but we're gonna keep it just like that. Okay, so you have to do this in an order. So let's say you wanna put a torch down here, torch down there, and now we wanna put item frame, item frame. Now it looks cool like that, but now you can come in here and inside of the item frame, you can put the cobblestone. So watch, you can go like this, and we want to put, oh, we don't want to break it. Don't do that. Okay, so let's do it again. Why do I keep breaking it? Oh, because you're left clicking it. Stupid. There you go. Right there. Wall sconces. And you can do these with any of 
any of the type of blocks that are here. So I'll show you one more time. This is how you do it. You put the torch down first, like that. You put the item frame, like that. And then you pick the one you want. So I'm going to use this one because this one looks cool. And there you go. Wall sconces for torches. Pretty sweet. Okay, so now here, let's finish up with the walls one real fast. Go here. And let's say that you want to just, like, we'll pick one of them there. You see how that's creating a stone chimney for your furnaces. So now you can double chimney, too, just like that. And that goes all the way out, out the ceiling, and it looks like a chimney. It's just really for aesthetic reasons. So another use for the item frame is this. So you want to make sure that you have a solid stone to go off of to begin with. And what we're going to do is we're going to put down two item frames like this. Then we're going to go in, and we're going to grab a dispenser just like so. And while we're here, we'll grab a stack of this and a stack of this, and then we'll grab single and single. And I'm going to show you why we're doing this. And this for the heck of it, we're going to grab another stack of chicken. Actually, we're just going to use a stack of chicken. Okay, so first things first, knock the block out behind the item frame. Lay it up. Oh, you got to do it fast. If you don't do it fast, it's not going to work. So let's try it again. You'll see. Do it again. Okay. So you knock the block out, you put the item frame down here, just like this, and knock the block out. And you got to be careful, so just like that. So now the item frame stays and the dispenser is there. So let's do the same again, just like that. So now let's say in this one, we want to put steak. Okay, cool. That's it. So we're going to put this down there, so that's steak. And then say in this one, we're going to put chicken. Now, the reason why I took two stacks of chicken was to show you this. Now, watch what happens when I put a stack of chicken in here. You lose your whole stack, so make sure you don't put stacks in frames. So hopefully they'll fix that by the time they do release. So you can see we're only left with one piece of chicken in our bar. So now let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab a wood button because it just looks cool. And we'll put it here and put it there. And now, watch, steak in the face, chicken in the face. So there you go. A nice way to show what's in a dispenser. Pretty cool. I really like that a lot. Okay, so then another thing with item frames is this. This is actually really cool, too. So let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit of light up in here. Shed some light on the subject. All right, come here. Just put that there for now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put down item frame, item frame, item frame, just like this, all the way there. Okay, and then we're going to put, for the heck of it, we'll put that in the center. And then we're going to say we want this. And we're going to get this. We don't really need stacks. I just take them. It's just habit, I guess. Okay, so we'll put arrow, 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 arrow. And then we'll do redstone, redstone, and redstone. It's almost like a uh, directional pad controller. So you can use you can use item frames to place items in to show directions of places that you want people to go or maybe inside of a cave it shows the direction to the exit out. Stuff like that, just different things. And then you can put them anywhere. So like you can put them here like this. You could use it as a like almost like a signpost that shows direction. And let's use something different. Let's use the tripwire hooks. So let's grab those. And do the same thing with the tripwire hooks. Just like this, like that, like that, and like that. Shows direction. So there's many different things that you guys can do with the new uh, with the new item frames. I really like the item frames. I think they're awesome. I love the walls. I think the walls are going to uh, open up a whole new way of building. And yeah, so for those of you guys out there that have other ideas or other things that you have came up with, please feel free to make a video response to this video and show me what you guys came up with because I'm very curious and I know the family's very curious to see what you guys have came up with. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, for those of you that saw the first video, you know that I took down the first video to remake the second video. So once again, guys, thanks for all your support. I love you guys. You're absolutely amazing. Stay family strong. I'm out. Bye.